Hello, my name is Jordan, and welcome to a series that I'm planning on doing with, uh, like, you know, just myself. It's a bit of like uh, discussions about my life, blah blah blah. It's called Story Time. Uh, I'm I'm playing TNT Run on the high. No, 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 on the high pixel. And uh, yeah, basically, the first story that I'm gonna tell you guys about is um, education. Now, I mean, that's not a very thrilling story, I'm aware, but. You know, it's just giving a bit of a background on me and blah 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 blah. So anyway, everyone knows that I'm from the UK. You can tell by my goddamn amazing accent. And uh, my parents went into a like we were in a bad area, and then we moved to a good area. Oh god, no! Oh. And uh, basically, uh, I started up a good school, the um, one of the best in the area, uh, and then you know just got my education going. I'm a moderately intelligent uh, human being, so, you know, I got the standards and all that stuff, so that's alright. So, yeah, we just, you know, I just did the standards uh, stuff all the way up, never skip school, blah, 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 all the way to GCSE, because, uh, you know, it's just standard school, no one cares. Uh, GCSE, I chose IT, oh no, um, history, graphics, and business studies. Uh, at the time being of all of this, I f wanted to be like a graphics designer game designer, you know, that kind of thing, like go into the computing industry and uh, everything like that. So my goal was, you know, to, to do that. So I was loving history. That was just a hobby of mine, like almost. Uh, I did, oh shit, I did um, ICT, like I said, which was, you know, just because I really enjoyed computers. I really enjoyed the idea of everything like that. So I did all that. Um, I also did graphics because, you know, obviously that's needed to get into the industry, I, I believe. Uh, apparently you probably can join without it, but, you know, I did that and I loved it. And, you know, you used computers, you used Photoshop, you got designs going. And I've made some pretty good stuff in the past, but most of it is, you know, just standard tat that anyone could make. So, you know, but anyway, anyway. So, yeah, and then the last one was business studies because I deem myself a bit of a businessman, you know. Uh, I'm I'm easy to, like, to get deals and talks and you know, little things like that. I, I, I love that kind of industry, and I'll go into that a bit more detail in a bit. But anyway, so uh, GCSEs, uh, for any of you English folk, uh, you'll understand. Maybe not now, because they're apparently getting rid of GCSEs, but that's a, another story for another debate. I'm doing rocking right now. Boom! And anyway, um, so I got... Oh, shit, no! I got um, a B in all of the GCSEs there. Like, these were the ones I chose anyway, so I got a B in uh, business studies, I got a A in history, I got an A in graphics, and I got an A in ICT. So I did really well in those. Um, I then got uh, two Bs in English, so like English Lit and English Lang, I got two Bs, I got a B in um, maths, I got Bs across the board on, um, what's it called, uh, sciences, so physics, uh, chemistry, and what Jimmy Jig, the other one, biology. I uh, I got uh, B's in all of those. I also got um, I basically got B's over everything. So if you can think of a subject, I got a B in it. And then other than a religious studies, which I'm not religious, so I need, I know that's no excuse. But I did get a C in it because I didn't pay attention. I wasn't interested. And um, yeah, so that's the only C that I got apart from a dance and drama one in year nine. But come on, like you know, I'm just not putting that on my CV. Um, so that was school over and done with. And when you get to college, it's like, here you go, here's, here's your, the decipher of what you're going to be doing next. And it's like, whoa, geez, like, just, it hits you that all of a sudden you're, you're in college and you're like, what? And it's a massive step up from, um, from school, in my opinion. Uh, this is, this is English college, by the way, Americans. It's different to yours. I don't really understand yours. So yeah. But anyway, um, so, yeah, uh, I chose for A-level, I chose computing, which was the closest thing to IT. That wasn't IT, because that was a, um, a, oh, what's it called? It it wasn't, it wasn't an A-level. Oh, my God! Uh, it wasn't an A-level, it's the other one, B-Tech. And, yeah, so I didn't choose that, I chose computing, which was an A-level. I chose graphics, because, you know, straight, wanted to do that. I chose business, uh, initially I chose physics. Because I got an A in physics, but I got a B overall because all the others were combined. It was combined sciences. So overall, I got, you know, a B. So anyway, I chose physics because I was like, oh, I love physics. And I chose um, history again because I loved history. So I got into about, I don't know, like two months into physics. And I was like, whoa, this is hard. I got an E in one of the tests. So I was like, screw this. 
um, wasn't as good as I thought I was at physics and I changed it for business studies again which I should have kept in the first place but it doesn't matter I didn't miss anything out so yeah I went with business studies instead I got then I had graphics IT business studies and history so I was doing basically exactly the same as what I did at uh, GCSE which was you know my favorite subjects and the thing that I want to say now basically is like don't waste education I haven't but I could have done so much better I didn't revise at all at GCSE and I didn't revise at all at A level and I'm lucky to be in university with that but you know I'm just saying just don't waste education it's it's free so why not you know so anyway um quick let's get into TNT run again go 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 so yeah um I in the first year I got a BBC in history and graphics with the B's and the C was business studies I got a U in computing completely failed it for a massive amount of reasons but one of them was I just couldn't care less about the subject I was bored I was just dulled by it the teacher was dreadful and it was just it was just rubbish it was rubbish so I, I basically just gave up on the subject. The teacher realised this and didn't really help me. And it just it just wasn't very good. So I got a U in it, completely failed it. And decided at that point, going into year two of college, that, you know, computing and uh, game designing and graphics was not what I wanted to do. And, and this was the time as well where YouTube was coming into play with my life and Matt's life. And... Um, I stuck with the business studies because I, I, I still loved it. Oh crap, no, I shouldn't have done that. Um, so yeah, uh, what happened then was I just did the second year. I picked up economics instead, which was to support my business studies, uh, get a gist of like how the economy's working, all of the terminology, blah, blah, blah. And got at the very end of this year, well, that year, I got a C in economics, a C in business studies, a B in graphics, and a C in history. Now the thing is there you see a drop in history. The drop in history was due to the coursework that we had and the coursework was brutal. And not only that, but I did not revise. And this is what I'm saying. I dropped a lot of, you know, grades. I could have got A's. I could have got A's. I mean, the, I was doing the subjects I enjoyed and I'm not exactly stupid and I'm aware I'm not stupid. Oh, poo. So, if I had revised, I would have got more knowledge in my head and I would have you know, got B's and A's maybe, who knows, so I only come out of college, came out with college with a B and three C's, so that was 300 UCAS points, and I only need like 280 to get on the course I'm doing, so you know, it wasn't like the end of the world, but I'd much have preferred to get higher grades now that it's finished, you know, it's it's over in my life, so if I could now say, oh yeah, I got A's and all of those, and then, then you know, why not, but I can't because I didn't, so... It's my own fault. It's not the end of the world, though, because I still got where I wanted to be and everything like that. So, And I'm on the good map, thank God. Um, so now I'm in university. There was a massive, massive part of life where like we were all stressed. Me and Matt were like, oh, my God, we got to sort this, 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 this. And then YouTube being apart from each other. And as you can tell by the content that's been dropped and nowhere. And pff, it's been hell. Not ah, and, then, and then my life, you know, if you've read my Twitter over the past two weeks, it's not been good. But yeah, anyway, back to this story. So I started university, and uh, you get straight into it, basically. They get a few talks, blah, 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 and then you get on uh, on the course, and they say, this is what's going to happen, and this is what you got to do. I'm doing events and leisure marketing, which is, if you can think of anything, I could market it. That's, that's by the end of this, basically. That's what it's saying. Like, anything in the world is basically an event or leisure. So I'm gaming, that's a leisure. I could market anything to do with leisure. And apparently 90% of people in the first year get into a full-time job. Well, this is based on the last year's statistics of it. And uh, it's a very good course so far. Like, you know, we do social psychology and understand the mindset of the uh, of the population and everything. And it, it, it's really interesting to me. So what happened is halfway through the, well, the second year of uh, you, um, college when I decided that gaming was no longer my sort of uh, forte in terms of like design and things I changed to marketing I like talking with people I like discussing things I like planning and all of this could go into a new career so I started looking around for like things and I've done quite a few bits and bobs 
behind the scenes uh, that I can put on my CV that no one else has done. And these are just all purely because of YouTube. I've had these great opportunities and I've taken them and it's, it's, it's amazing. I hope that it keeps going and I hope that we can keep going on YouTube. It's just at the moment we're not really doing ourselves any favours but you know university life and everything it's is taken hold right now it's why i'm doing the videos and hopefully and also matt's ill right now and i'm feeling really shitty today i just just pulled myself together to just throw out this video if, if i sound a bit nasally this morning i was really really bad but i picked up throughout the middle of the day i'm sure i'll be shit again tonight but that's not the point again i'm going off track so um yeah uh went into university with that new mindset of marketing knew what I wanted to do from about, I don't know, November, definitely, of last year. And now, boom, I'm here, living with people that I like, and uh, it's, it's really good fun. So, my education, basically, means that I've got to where I've wanted to be so far, and I've gotten the course that I want to be on, doing the thing that I want to be be doing for the rest of my life, as as I can see at the moment, anyway. And it's it's an actual hobby of mine, as well as, like, a career choice, so it's just... It's brilliant. So, the point is, you have to work in in school, and you have to work in college or wherever you go. And if you don't, then you know there is a chance. I'm not going to lie. There is a chance you could get lucky and go somewhere. But don't put it to chance. You know, you've got to work your ass off, and you've got to get those grades, and then boom, 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 you get to where you want to go. You get the money that you want. You get to do what you want in life. It sucks if you have to work and do that. I mean, that's obviously the past of humanity has decided that this is working for money no one will work for nothing because we're humans what the hell's the point in that so basically just work your ass off don't take it for granted get into uni do what you want to do and hopefully someday <laughs> you can be like me so if you've enjoyed this video uh, of my like past or a discussion then like it uh, give me some feedback what you want me to talk about next I've got a few stories lined up like the time I nearly died uh, you know there's quite there's quite a few little so, sort of things on the side if you gave me some uh, decisions and stuff as well then we'd come up with some great content so um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video